Everybody has a dream house, right? Maybe it's a mansion with a five-car garage. Maybe it's a cottage with a white picket fence. Personally, I want a tree house. But how do we choose our homes? When we hunt for houses, our senses are in overdrive. We're looking for cracks, we're listening for creaky floorboards, and we're smelling for strange odors, all in an attempt to find the right home for both aesthetic and for safety reasons. Many animals use these same senses to find their habitat. There is a species of shrimp that lives exclusively within tube sponges on coral reefs. And my research investigates which sensory cues are most important to these shrimp when they choose their habitat. For example, many humans choose to live in two-story houses. Well, these shrimp also prefer taller sponges because they provide better protection from predators. Similarly, no one I know wants to live in a house that reeks of sewage. Well, these shrimp also use smell to choose their habitat because it can be an indication of toxicity. However, the real estate on coral reefs is shifting as algae blooms due to nutrient influxes from the land. This algae competes with corals and sponges for space on the seafloor to grow. This not only affects the corals and sponges, but all of the organisms, including those shrimp, that live within, thereby affecting the ecosystem as a whole. Therefore, when I finish my research, not only will I have a degree as a sponge real estate agent, I will also have answered important questions about whole reef ecology. Thank you. All right, thank you, Molly, well done.